Hi, second graders. It's Mr. Schaefer. Um, I'm here to talk to you about a new strategy called the retelling glove. And I'm going to use it with this book, Anti-Tiger, because it's one that I read to you um, earlier this week, last week. I don't know. I read it to you before, and you sort of know what happens in the story. So um, I'm going to be going through this new strategy using this book, since you already know it. So here we go. All right, using the retelling glove strategy. The retelling glove helps us remember all the things we need to include in a retelling or a summary of a story. So if you look at a glove, it has five fingers because there are five elements you really need to remember to include in a really good retelling or summary of a story. You need to think about who were the characters, what is the setting, what is the conflict, a problem, how was the conflict resolved or the resolution, and what did the main character learn? This is also called the theme. So when we think about the book Anti-Tiger, the first one I'm going to think about the characters. The characters are the little sister, the big sister, the mom, and Anti-Tiger. The next finger is for the setting. So the setting mostly takes place at the sister's house. Then I'm going to think about the conflict in the story. The conflict was that the tiger is trying to eat the sisters by pretending to be their auntie. Then I'm going to think about how the conflict was resolved. So they figured out his plan and big sister kills him and saves little sister. And the last finger is to think about the theme. So what did the main character learn? Little sister learned to listen to big sister. So now I'm going to take these five things that I just talked about in my retelling glove and I'm going to put them together in my summary. So my retelling or summary of Anti-Tiger would be the characters in the story are little sister, big sister, mom, and Anti-Tiger. The story takes place at the sister's house. The tiger is trying to eat the sisters by pretending to be their auntie. They figure out his plan and big sister kills him and saves little sister. In the end, little sister learned to listen to big sister. So your job today is to find a book on Raz Kids, on Kids A to Z, and you are going to trace your hand on a piece of paper, and inside of each finger, you're going to write a different element of our retelling glove. So I used my thumb to write my characters. Here I have the setting. Here I have the conflict. Here I have the resolution. And here I have my theme. And once I have all those five things filled in, going to take a picture, going to post it to my portfolio. For extra credit, you can also make a video of you telling me what happened in your story and use all of the elements that you just wrote into your retelling glove. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day.